What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I thought I'd do something a little bit different, a little bit more fun. Uh, I thought as a fun idea it would be a pretty cool idea to go around Monaco full simulation damage in a 22 player lobby and just see what happens really so we'll see what happens. Five red lights for the Monaco Grand Prix starting from last place away we go. Uh, heading into turn one we are not going to be uh, lunging up anyone's inside to be honest. Well, I'm just gonna let the uh, carnage ensue as we head into turn one. The Ferrari was already upside down. There's cars everywhere on the exit of turn one. It's like last minute shopping on Christmas Eve. It's, it's people everywhere. But either way, we go from 22nd to 10th place in just one single corner. We're probably gonna get a penalty for overtaking under yellow flags. But it doesn't matter because uh, we have survived the first sector of the Monaco Grand Prix and that is all that matters. I think if I just finish in this race, I might win. I may well win. Some of you guys are absolutely terrible when it comes to realistic simulation damage, to be fair. And uh, you know what, I don't blame you. It's, it's, it's not easy uh, staying around, staying off the walls at Monaco in a sprint race with uh, 22 other lunatics. Heading into the Nobel Chicane for the first time, we follow the, uh, the manner of uh, I don't even know who that is, to be honest. I, I don't really think it matters, but we head too wide into the uh, to back corner. I'm like, no, you go first, and he goes, no, sir, you go through as well. But uh, yeah, that was a bit, a bit awkward there for the two of us, and that allowed the car behind to uh, really get close to us. He's tagged us into the final chicane there in the third sector, and he takes our place. There's more cars going around. I was very, very lucky to avoid that Mercedes because it ghosted. Otherwise. That would have been curtains for my race as well, but that's the end of the first lap. We have survived. What are the chances of that? I think uh, I'm feeling pretty lucky today. I might pop down to the TAB and and place a bet on some horses, or I don't know, bet on go go spend some money on on the lottery for some tickets. But we carry on to lap two now. We've caught up to the back of the McLaren Honda, who seems to be going very very slowly. He has no concept of apex speed at all, and that just completely. Uh, screws up my exit there onto the uh, tunnel section. There's a yellow flag up ahead. Someone has beached it in the wall. I don't know how you beach it on the left-hand side of that wall there, to be honest. It must have been help. Um, but either way, guys all around me cutting the no Volsha game, which is uh, absolutely brilliant to see. We've got another lap and a bit to go in this Monaco Grand Prix, and uh, we still have 11 run... Well, we've lost half the field in a lap and a half. Um, so God knows how, how many more we're going to lose in the final lap of this Grand Prix. This McLaren Honda is probably number one contender to be out next, um, considering he is racing me with the lag as well. We go up into Rich Revs. We're looking for a move around the outside, possibly up the inside. The leader of the race in the other McLaren Honda has made a pit stop or a drive through penalty, and now it's a five-way battle as we head up the top of the hill. This guy is just going slowly, sticking to the middle of the road. I'm going left, right, upside down, all around the place. Trying to find a way around him, but he's just got a... He's just got a... He's got a big giant wall that I just can't seem to get around. And I've been punted into the back of him, which is, uh, you know, completely chopped off most of my wing. Now I've lost the rest of it now as we head into the Lowe's hairpin. And the manor has now taken me as well. He's taken me out completely as we go through the right-hander. And that is my race over. Absolutely no chance of winning this Monaco Grand Prix. That could have been a last of first for the ages. Starting 22nd in a three-lap race, having pretty much the entire field crash out there. But uh, even still, with all that crashing and, and bull crap at the end there, we still finish in fourth place. As uh, Is that going to count? We did crash as we went over the line. That was intentional. But uh, we do get credit at the fourth place. And that has been this episode of... This one-off video, which isn't an episode for today. The Monaco Grand Prix. If you want to see another survive Monaco with uh, 22 other lunatics with simulation damage, let me know. I mean, it can't possibly go any worse than this race today. Baku, anyone? <laughs> Baku.